Thanks for staying with us. So last week, a news broke that broke a lot of hearts of many Nigerians about an alleged sexual against a minor by somebody quite popular um, in Lagos State um, by the name of Dr. Femi Olaleye. Um, the news got out on social media last week and it, it got a lot of attention. And this news was initially broken by um, Princess Damilola Adekoya, she's probably known as Princess, on social media. And then the conversation was taken up by Kit Henshaw. And from then on, lots of comments um, on social media concerning this very popular doctor in Lagos State. So um, Dr. Femi Olale um, was actually my friend up until when I heard this news. Because of his nature, he's very friendly and, you know, very passionate about what he does, you know, we keep recommending him to other people. So um, I think about a week ago, his wife called me and she knows I'm his friend. So she, she said, you know, haven't you heard? I'm like, hear what? And I was like, you know, what's going on? And then she told me, oh, he had been her niece, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, are you joking? She said no. The case was reported on the 30th of November last year, 2021. Mm. Yes, 20, 2021. So that's one they are saying match. No, Antony Police Station, the case was reported. And this was immediately after the wife found out. So I was shocked. I said to her, I'm going to have to call him. Give me the details. She told me how she found out just on the 29th and immediately called his mom, you know? And then she told, there was a round table, they sat down and they asked, as she came over and they asked him, what happened? And the child spoke and said, he has been to me. Two weeks she got into that house, he started in her two weeks, just as she got there. And the mother is critically ill. That's why the, this woman took her in. Now, my, my annoyance is the mother was there, he, he said, oh, Okay, I'm sorry. But the wife was devastated. This went on for one year and nine months, and mm. she's just finding out. Now we're going to be speaking with Benjamin Houdain. He is the spokesperson for the police here in Lagos. He's going to tell us exactly, give us an update on the case and answer the question everybody's asking. Why is this case not being charged to court? So far, we've been discussing this matter, the allegations leveled against um, Dr. Femi Olale. And the question everybody's asking is, why it's been 10 months... How come this case is yet to be charged to court? Okay, now we need to get um, something clear here that this case was first reported to the police March 2022, okay. this year. So it's not uh, 10 months like some people are saying. Okay. And why, why the case hasn't been charged to court is because of the complexities of the case. Now, you know, or you might not know, but the fact remains that um, this incident happened in 2020 and it was not reported in 2020. Nobody knew about it. So the first time the police would get wind of this matter was March this year. Okay. So, um, so, you know, for cases of this nature, you would have to carry out medical examination and the results are something, is something that some people might want to contest because this happened two years ago and now we are carrying out um, an examination this year. So, because of this complexity, the case file was sent to our legal department for a proper review of the entire case so that um, the legal department would advise on the appropriate charge to give before it is charged to court. So, as we speak, we are expecting a feedback from our legal department. Okay. So, Mr. Benjamin, I'm sorry, I, yeah. I don't remember your official title. Um, is it possible? Did you can you possibly investigate complicity on the part of your staff or your your team? Because according to Princess, the case was rep reported at the police station in Antony, and if they have a date of the report as uh, as to, to be last year, um, November, can you possibly investigate? You know, some compromises happening from your your side or your team side on the, in this matter. Definitely, definitely. If we, if, we, if we receive a complaint of complicity on the part of our staff, definitely we would investigate such. Um, but the records available to me uh, indicate that this case was reported at the gender unit 
I didn't say that was as much this year. But it's been, it's been six months, sir, and people are wondering why the delay is a bit suspicious. You know, the fact that now, this now, is a very now, influential I'll, person. Yes. Now, I'll explain that part. You know, in this case, the, the wife is a major witness. The wife is somebody that would need to testify in court if the case eventually gets to court. And this same wife approached us to say she had exams to write outside the country and that she would like us to give her some time to go and write her exams and come back. Uh, it was on that basis that um, the husband was granted bail because he couldn't be held indefinitely. And she came back to the country and 10 days ago she showed up to say, okay, I'm back. We can proceed with the case. So we need to get the full story that what something might cause delay is not entirely on the part of the police.